one in four. That's how many children are considered at risk for developing mental health issues. It's a staggering statistic, and even more alarming given only a small percentage of children are even treated for what can be a serious condition. I think kids and families don't get help because they're afraid. Um, you know, it's confusing. They have lost hope. Um, it's hard to understand what's going on for them. Unfortunately, the negative stigma for receiving mental health treatment remains, and often families are reluctant to seek the treatment, despite the fact that mental health issues of all types are common. We see a wide variety of different things going on with our clients. Some clients have very mild mental health needs. Um, other clients have more severe needs and have a lot of providers involved and a lot of services wrapped around them. Um, we also tend to help the families a lot to meet their um, basic needs so that the children's mental health can come to the forefront when necessary. Whatever the level of care required, Orchard Place has the staff and resources required to serve a variety of children in need. Whether residential, outpatient, in-home, or care coordination, Orchard Place is the state's premier mental health provider to more than 8,000 kids each year, a number that increases every year. I think there is more community awareness. There's certainly more awareness in um, the school systems about mental health issues for kids and things that teachers might have um, brushed off in the past as being, you know, just kind of a difficult kid or a willful kid, you know, are now starting to understand the mental health issues that are behind that. That's why Orchard Place is committed to creating preventative strategies to develop strong futures for Iowa's children. In order to do this, we rely on a team of dedicated staff, volunteers, and community partners. Oh, I just think Orchard Place is probably the most professional place in the state. And as far as staff and uh, just everything they do, I, I can't think of anything else in the state that would match up with Orchard Place. Salmon's realizes that there's a lot of need in the community around the behavioral and, and uh, mental health uh, aspects of, of our, a lot of need. And we, and we feel like we want, we, it's important for us to give to the community and we found that that was an area that was underserved and, and uh, we were very pleased to help support their, their mission. Orchard Place is not just improving the lives of children and their families with our programs. The services we provide every day are beneficial for the community as a whole. It's really uh, correcting um, what could be potential future problems for the community. It's, it's taken, you know, a lot of times these kids through traumatic experiences are just Different, different circumstances are in a bad spot. And that doesn't mean that they're a bad kid, but if they don't get um, at the core redirected and uh, you know, as much as anything to have their mind clear and, and, and healthful, uh, they're gonna turn into problems for the community. The health of our children and their future is a shared responsibility. At Orchard Place, we're committed to providing compassionate and professional care to those children and families in need. I just listened to what they said because they, everything they said is what I was thinking. And it was just amazing. The whole, whole thing was amazing. As a community, it's our collective responsibility to make sure those resources are available to those we serve and those we will serve in the future. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty fortunate to get up every day and come to a job where we get to help kids uh, change their lives and really get back to being a kid and enjoy the things that kids should be doing.